Welcome back to my channel. This is very likely the shortest video clip I ever recorded to post on my channel on YouTube, but I wanted to share that I actually purchased the hand grip for the GFX 100S and I want to mount it live here on camera. Of course, I want to mount it on my GFX 100S and quickly share my thoughts whether I like it or don't like it. So let's kick off the video. The general story about hand grips requires some ambiguity. Some people like it, some people don't like it. I have hand grips typically mounted on my Leica M series cameras, but also on the Leica Q2 for instance. And I typically like it because it gives a bit more grip. And of course it provides some protection from scratches at the bottom of the camera body. And that's why I purchased it for my Fuji GFX 100S here. Currently mounted here is the GF 45 to 100. A video review about that lens is almost done and will come in the next couple of weeks. And clearly I want to mount that hand grip now live on the camera and let's see how this looks like. Looking at the bottom of the GFX 100S, this is already a very robust design and construction and the GFX 100S like all GFX series cameras is fully weather sealed and is also not super vulnerable to scratches. But bear in mind that I have my GFX 100S not for too long because it hit the market just a few months ago. And I also like to use my cameras not only on tripods but place them on stone walls, have them in all kinds of weird places. And over time it's likely that the camera body in particular at the bottom collects scratches. And I can prevent this by using a hand grip like the MHG GFXS and that's why I'm going to mount it now. So let's open this up and before let's share the price tag for this little accessory here. It's about $130 which you can expect to pay for it and uh, it's a very lightweight package so the hand grip will not contribute a lot of additional weight to the camera. It's in a plastic bag here and it has a very nice design so matte black finish matching the camera body's color and design and here is a mechanism and a screw to actually screw it on the camera body and then you find here an additional screw hole for your tripod because the one on the camera body will be of course covered by this plate here and that's pretty much all. Matching this hand grip to the camera body is pretty straightforward because you use the tripod hole of the camera just here and there is only one screw on the hand grip so it should fit immediately. And you see how it's lining up here. So let's screw this on. Yeah, it's already firm. This is it. This is how it looks like. If you look around here, it's a perfect match. And I think it also matches nicely the camera body. And despite the fact that it is a small accessory, it still contributes significantly and extends the hand grip in vertical direction in a nice way. So if I now hand hold this, it helps me because I feel the additional grip here at my hand when I hand hold this. And it feels actually very good. I think the design is nice. You have then here your tripod hole for mounting this on a tripod. And uh, clearly you need to unmount it to replace the battery, which some people might find inconvenient. I personally think it provides that additional layer of protection also for the battery compartment and as I said before to prevent scratches at the bottom of the camera body. All in, I like this accessory. I think if you purchase the camera for a price tag like you have to pay it for the Fuji GFX 100S, another 130 bucks will not move the needle and I think it is helpful to have that hand grip because you feel it in your hand when you shoot handhold with the GFX 100S. So nice accessory and already the end of the video. I hope you liked it, found it useful. Maybe you are considering yourself to purchase this accessory. And if you like that video, don't forget to drop me a thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Typically longer videos. This is the shortest one I ever posted. Stay safe and healthy and of course, peace out.